right, so today's clearing on is, okay, wait, stop. <laughs> okay. All right, so today's clearing is on angels among us. So we really do have angels. I mean, there's lots of beings that are not in physicality, physical body. And we think of angels as beings that have the wings. But I'm going to tell you straight up, not all, not all angels have wings, just so you know, okay? And oftentimes when we refer to angels, actual angels, these are not beings that are coming in and incarnating into physicality. They're staying in the etheric realms and they're doing what they do to assist. For example, the um, emissaries of the light that we call in, those are angels. They're angelic beings. They don't look like angels, they don't have wings, but they look like strong people like us. And you know, they come right down and they help to assist people to go home. And when we think about angels, especially during the holiday season, which is what we're in right now, there's a lot of people, oh, it's really interesting because I start getting immediate downloads, but a lot of people, there's a lot of people in the world that for them, the holidays have a lot of meaning, a lot of value. They've grown up in cultures where the belief systems really um, amplify Christmas and, and you know, the birth of Christ and, and religious aspects. And then you have all the angels, you know, everywhere you look, there's angels. There's angels when the Christ was born. There's angels in, all over. It, even when you see the, the, what do you call those things that they put, people put out, you know what I mean? The decorations, there's a name for them. But, you know, you got angels, there's angels, angels, angels. Angels everywhere, bookstores, you know, angels. So, well, like I said, that's true. There are angels that do have wings. A lot of the angels do not have wings. And some of the real true angels are not those angels, but the angels of human beings that have incarnated into physicality, that have left the body, and are coming back to help their families, to help their beloveds, to help their, their friends, their children, you, you know, people that are still here. These people really do come. And the moment I started speaking about angels, I can't tell you just how many people that are alone right now presented. You probably don't even know, so you probably have friends, or you probably know people, but you don't know how lonely they are, or perhaps how isolated they are. And, you know, because most people won't be going around telling you, well, I'll be all alone, and I'm feeling really sad, and I'd love to have somebody. Most people are saying, oh, everything's okay, I'm good and yet they're alone. And unfortunately, most people are not able to really feel what's around them. Like right now, if I just kind of shift my awareness, I can see people around everybody here, people that have passed on, people that love you, people that know you, even friends, even people from long, long time ago, and even those from past incarnations, they're, they're with you, they're around you, right now, in this moment. Sometimes people can feel them, so they can perceive and feel and sense, especially like, like I know for beloveds, like a husband or a wife that has passed, usually the, the spouse that's left behind feels them for, you know, for a long time. And sometimes not, but usually you can. And a lot of people don't feel and are not aware of who and what's around them. So this time of the year is probably one of the most important times for people to really know that there is others with them. This kind of reminds me of the whole thing around when people leave the body, we're so used to, we see the physical body, we can touch that body, we can hear you, we can smell you, you know, it's like it's all very tactile and very present and very real. So when you leave the body behind and you, the true essence of who you really are is no longer in the physical body, it still has that quality and feel like we've, you know, we've lost something, we've lost someone. And it does feel really intense and it does feel like it's forever because it, we are in this physical body. So we, we are in physicality. When, when we're not connected with those that have passed on, 
in their physical body, we feel the loss. There's no way not to feel it. So we can have all the teachings, we can have all the understanding, we can also be teaching it ourselves that, yeah, we're eternal, we're creator incarnate, we're divine beings. But I guarantee you, you lose something and it's like, it hurts. Lots of pain. Okay? So sometimes I literally see people, like when you're in a, in a really d dire state or depressed or really going through really intense times, it's like I really do see the people holding you, arms around you, giving you the message that you matter, that you're important, that they love you. And even the angelic ones, the angels, uh, sometimes we have angelic guides and then just the angels. So a lot of angels, okay, this is cool. So whether you know, you may or may not know this, but when you incarnate into physical form, there are angels that are assigned to you. And they are assigned to you for your whole incarnational experiences. So it could be millions of years that these same angels are with you. And still we don't feel them. We can't, you know, we can't sense them always. And, and yet sometimes we can, especially if we just really stay in the heart and you open the heart and be deep inside, there's a knowing, there's a sensing. I've actually had times when I felt, felt literally being touched. Probably some of you have had that too. It's kind of a experience because it's not like what is that it's more like oh there that's that's a beloved being that's with me so you have your you know the people that you've incarnated with that were in physical bodies throughout lifetimes that will come with you come to you and then you also have your your angels that have always been with you and always will be with you it's kind of like they're your beds <laughs> They are, you just don't know it. So what might be kind of cool today is if we could start thinning out some of the veils so you can start to at least sense a little bit more. So we're going to play with that a little bit too once we get going. Um, I did, there was something I wanted to say about like the incarnational experiences. So, okay, so you know how we, we know that when people die they go into the light, okay? So we also know that they can go into the light and once they make their decisions on what they want to do, if they're going to reincarnate immediately or if they're going to go explore other dimensions, realities, time and space, or they can choose to come here on planet Earth. Okay? So not everyone that we call an entity is asleep, meaning those that don't go into the light they stay here because they're not truly remembering who they are. There's something about going into the light where there's an awakening, if that makes sense, okay? So when people leave their physical body, and you all know this, you've heard about it through people having near-death experiences, where they've seen their family members or beloved spouses, children, whoever, whoever's gone before them, they'll see them and they look like they looked in this lifetime. They're presenting in that way, okay? That's what also helps people to go home. They see their beloveds, they wanna go home into the light. Once you go into the light, you are greeted, it's true. You're greeted with all kinds of beings uh, that, that you not only knew here and now, but that you knew throughout your, your time in incarnation experiences. The soul family, it's like a soul family. Okay, so what happens is, is you do go into the light. I'm just gonna share both, both what happens with the stuck entities and the difference, okay? When you do go into the light, there is a remembering. And then when you go into the space, which I've taken you there before, but there's a space that we go to. This is beyond the light itself. This goes beyond seeing our people in the physical form. Okay, so it's like an energetic light body, etheric body that we see. And it presents how we recognize. And once we finish our little greetings, like, all right, good to see you. Wow, it's been 10,000 years. How cool. Okay. And then, so once we've done all that, 
hey, maybe next time, hey, let's do it again. <laughs> cool. Okay, so then once we make, you know, finish up all that, reconnecting and sh being shown our lives and lessons and what we didn't learn, then we go into this pure state of awareness. Remember, I've take, we've been there. There's no physicality, there's no pictures, there's no images, there's nothing but awareness itself. In that awareness, we make that choice. Okay, rather than incarnating right now, I'm going to spend a hundred years being with family, and then I'm going to come into the light again, and then I'm going to re-emerge re and incarnate. Okay? But it's a, it's a consciousness. There's an awareness. We're consciously making choices with others. So, so if we decide to come back here rather than going on, which I think I'm going to do because I got there's a lot of people I want to help out a little bit, you know, so help them and then move on. But basically, we come in with choice and we come in with knowledge and awareness, and then we are helping, supporting, guiding, doing whatever it is that we've come to help do. But we're aware we have woken up. Okay, we don't see life the same. And then there are those who see the light but don't go into the light. These are the entities that come into your bodies. Someone who has an awareness, an awakening, is not going to come back here and go into your body. It's not going to happen. And those that did not go in are the ones who haunt houses, who get stuck in locations, who also come into people's bodies. So these are not angels are not here with awareness, consciousness, they're stuck. There's almost like a blindness. They're stuck in the belief that who they died as, the body that they had, is who they are. Okay? So when they have that belief, they sustain that physical appearance because they still believe it's true in all their emotional stuff, all their pain, all their issues that match your issues, that makes an easy frequency for them to merge into your physical body. This is why so many just come in. Once you get a few coming in, then pretty soon more come in with the same kinds of issues. That's why when we're doing clearings, we see a lot of the same uh, emotional energy entities leaving because it's a matching energy. And the ones that are stuck here there, it's almost no different than what they believed when they were alive. Okay, that's the problem. They didn't wake up, there's no awareness, there isn't an evolution, there's just being stuck. I know, I've got hundreds and hundreds of experiences of people, dead people, doing entity removal, way back when I used to talk to most of them, you know, you start talking to them, you get all this information, find out what's going on. Most of the time, those that, a lot of times they didn't even see the light. And then those that did see the light didn't want to go into the light. And they, but one of the biggest things was is they didn't want to die. They didn't want to die. I don't know if you've ever experienced people in that process of, of dying. But sometimes, even when it's an illness, but sometimes when people have an accident or something and they're going to be going or something really negative has happened, some trauma has happened and they're going, they don't want to die. Like I've seen so many car accidents, people that don't want to die and they, the body dies. Okay, then they end up, I can't tell you how many times they go into the people that are by that were helping them or, you know, they'll just find something or someone to go into because they don't want to die. And then there's a lot of reasons why people don't go into the light. <clears throat> Sometimes they're afraid that they're going to be punished, that there'll be retribution, that they'll be humiliated or shamed or rejected. So it's, you know, these are all the belief systems that none of them are true or real. And yet, whatever you believe, that's what you're going to create, which also reminds me, you'll like this one. All these realms, what that we call heaven, that we call hell, that I call the dead zone, we call purgatory, or any other beliefs that man has created, we have created those realms and people are there. Okay? I'm not joking. 
I can tell you, I remember way back, this was like back in the 80s when I was teaching psychic development classes. I took a group to Pfeiffer Beach area and we, I was showing them the, those realms, like heaven and hell. So what we would do is we would enter into that realm very quietly and get someone's attention and then we would help them to wake up and help them to go home. Didn't matter if they were in the hell realm or, or in hell or in heaven or dead zone or whatever that was. It's a belief. It's a belief. So whatever you believe, you're co-creating and you got that place to go. So if you truly believe there's a heaven and you're going, by all means, you're going to go to heaven, but you're going to be stuck in a realm that isn't the truth, that doesn't allow for soul's evolution, which means incarnating into physical body. So you can actually, those of you can, you can uh, track energy and watch energy. All you have to do is shift your awareness and ask to see the energy of heaven. And you can see it and you can see all these people believing they're in heaven. And then you can shift your awareness to people that believe in hell and you can see them suffering and being tortured needlessly because it doesn't have to be that way. All you got to do is look up into the light and go home. It's over. You know, so it's like all these people. It's like whatever that belief is. So, so pay attention to your belief systems. What do you really believe? Because if you're believing it strongly, that's where you're going to take yourself. So coming back to the angels among us, a lot of people are literally by themselves, especially a lot of older people. I see a lot of older people that are totally alone and feeling alone, feeling really alone. And if they could actually feel what's around them, they wouldn't feel alone. You know, that's the thing. It's like our, our senses are so shut down. We're so much into the physical realms that we're not really aware of all the things that are really occurring all around us. Like right now, those of you that are, all of you here, basically, you can shift your awareness right now. Even the people that are listening to this, whenever, you can literally shift your awareness. It's almost like opening your perception, expanding, and you're going to feel that the, the room is full of other people. Wherever you are, it's full of other people. Sometimes, too, when you start to feel these other people, because you do know some of them, you're going to start to feel a sadness. I can see that already. I can see people feeling some sad stuff. So something's going on, okay? And, okay, I'm just going to tell you straight up. Right now, right now, right beside you, there's, yeah, two really strong. Looks like mother's on one side and somebody else is on this side. Yeah, it's a male figure. Yeah, male. But they're, they're touching you. They're, whisper, they're whispering, they're speaking. You just don't hear them. But on, you know, you're on some level you kind of sense and feel them. And yet, they're really present. And, hang on, I'm, I'm just going to kind of, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so your mother, she's standing on your left side. She's got her hand on your chin, trying to turn your face towards her. Okay? So she's just wanting to let you know that she's here. Even though she's not in the physical body, she's right here. And that she, she loves you, she sees your heartache, she sees the struggle and the pain that you still go through because she's not here. And it makes her sad that you're sad. Not because of where she's at, because she's totally okay, but she's more concerned about you than she's concerned about her own self, or, you know what I mean? It's about you. And your grandfather, there's something about him, he's a pretty powerful guy. There's a strong presence. He's literally, what he's doing, he's kind of like, he's right up against you. It's like his body, or, you know, the etheric body, is like pushing right up against you, and he's trying, he's just kind of like, wanting you to know he's there. He's, he's like, I'm here. I'm here. I'm right here. And so his presence is right there. And then I can see behind, I see the angels that have been with you for all your incarnations. Very wise, very beautiful angelic beings that are, they don't have wings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just really <laughs> Yeah. There's no wings. 
and you know they're with you they got your you know they mean they got your back this is the part you know we have that knowing of something like if you can feel sometimes you you can feel like oh don't go there don't don't walk down that road or whatever it's like there's a deep knowing that's your angelic presence behind you or with you giving you the messages you know they're sending a frequency to give you understanding or perceptions or guidance so they're, you know, they're always talking to you. And they're not going to go away. So even when you pass on, every, everyone's angel peoples are there to help them go into the light. But like I said, those that are afraid to go into the light for whatever reason, they also don't see or hear these angelic beings. It's kind of like they're still locked into the physical body. They want the physical body. That reminds me too, sometimes when people die suddenly, like a, a shocking car accident, you know what I mean, like they, it happens so quickly, they don't understand that they have died. A lot of these people walk around or keep moving around in almost like a, moving in a fog. They can't find their way, so they're lost. They could be lost for eons of time. I mean, there's just all kinds of different things that occur with people passing. So the angels that are among us, they're not like here trying to cause bad or cause harm. They're really helping to try and guide, show the way, you know, pulling us in a direction. Like even as I'm just kind of scanning the energy field, I'm just kind of like looking at the area that we're in, and I can see a lot, a lot of older people, especially older people. There's younger people as well. And I can feel and see their, the, the an angels that are with them are trying to soothe them, but also trying to encourage them to go out into the world, you know? Because a lot of people start to get older and they start to isolate and they feel cut off and shut off. It doesn't really have to be that way, but that's their, you know, it's like it's them that's doing it. It's not like people are rejecting them. So it just, it's just like, you know, there's just so many people that are, that are really loved and supported and watched over and they just don't feel it, they don't know it. And then two, you can also ask for specific guidance or specific angels to come and be with you, depending on what it is that you, you know what I mean? It's like depending on what it is you want or need, you can ask for that. And your, your ones that are with you for all time will help you help bring them in, which is really cool. So basically to do that, whatever, the, whatever you're wanting, like if, even, even if you want a new house or, you know, we've got to move or something, you can ask, well, bring me, bring me the house angels, okay, or, or bring me the car angel or whatever that is. And, you know, you ask for that and then you just let it go. You give it up, let it go. And then things start to happen. So there's all these things occurring on the invisible realms that we're not really noticing or aware of or conscious of, but it is happening. So the angels, just know you got your, you've got your permanent ones. They're, they're there no matter what. They're watching you do all your atrocities and all the lightest good things you can possibly do. They've seen it all. Okay, they're watching, guiding, whatever. And the ones, there are angels that come in in specific lifetimes too. So you may not, you know, you, sometimes you'll have several angelic beings that are actually literally with you during different periods of your life, different experiences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so, you know, like, especially in times when life was like really turbulent, really intense, really scary, really feeling like hopeless. So there were beings around you literally trying to hold you up. You know, we don't see them, but they, it's there, they're there. And sometimes they really do help, because they, it's like keeping us from really leaving the phys physical body before we're really meant to leave it. But it also somehow it just gives a little bit more support when we get through the dark times we find our way through. Okay, so let's look at some of the veils, some of the, the energy around the body, some of the blockages that inhibit you from really sensing more, from really seeing, from really just kind of knowing that there is presence around you. 
So sometimes what happens is, you know how we're, we're so in our minds, you know what I mean? It's like the mind drives everything. It drives our thoughts, it drives our awarenesses and things like that. So the mind literally does kind of create a prison for the deeper senses to really experience and feel what is around us, okay? So we're going to start working with that. Uh, first thing I want you to do, though, is I want you just to kind of think about when you have, okay, so maybe you've had times where life was really painful and you felt like you were really alone, okay? So if you think about those times and you can feel some of the emotions that were running through your body, those emotions can actually feel almost like a energetic barrier. They become, that becomes what you are aware of. The emotion itself becomes the, the, the sensation, the thought, the physical energy in the physical body. Okay? What that also does is it blocks and inhibits you from the, the knowing. But there's also in the physical body, and the good news is, is the veils are thinning in the planet, around, on the planet itself as well as inside the physical body, so we're going to see if we can start unraveling and loosening up and thinning the veils that are literally keeping you feeling or not feeling this, these presences that are here, okay? So when you have those times when you really feel alone, which is like right now, a lot of people are feeling alone. But when you feel alone, just notice how you, it, bring, it kind of pulls you in, but it also sends you into past thoughts or past memories or even projecting what it's going to be like in the future. So when we go into these emotional states, we go into more of a fear-based experience rather than the trusting open heart experience. The point is, is that the mind kicks in and the mind becomes like a, creates a barrier that blocks that, those connections. So when you let yourself just think about times when you have felt alone or you have felt um, in, a, in a painful state or emotional state, and sometimes it could feel hopeless or felt, feels helpless or feels like things will never change or, you know, it's just that kind of like closed in and it's like being imprisoned, okay? So when you let yourself just remember those kinds of things or those memories, you're going to notice it does feel like some kind of barrier inside. You're going to feel a sensation that is a physical sensation inside, okay? And before we get started, if there's people you want to call in, go ahead and call them in. Let them be here. Just call their presence in. And know that as you pull them in, I'll be sending my energy and my presence to be right beside them, helping them. So you can just let go of it once you pull them in. And then also once you pull everybody in that you want here, then you're going to ask for my presence to be right beside you. Okay? Okay. 